Zillow. Zillow paying me now. Okay. And like, if you and do. And why would you want to help yourself? Because why wouldn't I want to help you sell it? What's up, everybody? How we doing? Uh, welcome to this week's live training session. Uh, I'm Ricky Carruth. I'm going to be calling for sell by owners today. I'm going to be using my new strategy that I came up with a couple weeks ago. I'm going to call for sell by owners and tell them I'm going to help them sell their property for free. So I'm really excited about this. I don't think this has ever been done before. I don't know anyone that's ever that's ever done this. Um, maybe there's people that do it to a certain level, but I don't think anyone's ever done it to the level I'm going to do it, nor do I think that they've done it live. So this is going to be really exciting. Yeah, you guys give me a thumbs up. Every little thing that I can do. Yeah, it's going to seem funny. I see the comment. Some people are going to say, why in the world would you do that? As far as the owners are concerned, they're going to say, why Why are you doing this? And the fact that the, the simple answer is, is why wouldn't I do this? All right. Um, I will say before I get cranked up here, I completely revamped the zero to diamond 90 day action plan. Um, I took a little bit of the old action plan and I just completely revamped it. So if you guys are interested in getting a copy of that, just go to zero to diamond.com. It's right there. It's all free. But yeah, I'm excited about the 90 day action plan. I think that you guys should all follow that 90 day action plan to a T. Uh, follow no other coaches, no other programs for 90 days, put this into effect, completely follow it to a T and crush it and see where you are in 90 days and see if you don't want to continue doing the little things that add up over time, creating those relationships, um, building business, talking to the most people, coming from a place of how can I help you. I'm going to start with, I think what I'll do is I'll call one from ForSaleByOwner.com and then one from Zillow. One from ForSaleByOwner.com and then one from Zillow. All right. I think I'm ready to roll. Yes, the 90-day action plan, the new revamp 90-day action plan is on the website. It's live. It's right there. Um, link is in the description. Go get it completely free and just go succeed. Hello, you've reached Debbie Green. Please leave your name, number, and a brief message, and I'll call you back as soon as possible. Have a great day. Hey, Debbie, Ricky Carruth down here, Remax of Orange Beach. Give me a ring back when you get a chance about your condo there. Um, you can reach me here at 251-752-1138. Have a good day. Let's jump over to Zillow. Let's jump over to Zillow. Yeah. Yeah, Zillow's paying me now. What do we got here? Oh my gosh. Their pictures are sideways. Like they're not, they're, they're, <laughs> they're sideways, guys. I have a lot to talk to this owner about. Hello. Hello. Hey, this is Ricky Caruth with Remax of Orange Beach. I was calling you about the house you have in Gulf Shores. Yeah. What uh tell me about it? <laughs> well, have you looked on Zillow? Well, I looked on for sellbounder.com. Is it also on Zillow? Hello. Can you hear me? I lost me? you there for a minute. Can yeah, you? I lost you for a minute. Okay. I said, have you looked it on Zillow? It's listed there. Well, I well, for on Zillow. well I'm looking at it on for sellbounder.com. Is it also on Zillow? Yeah, it's on there. Full description, got pictures. You're welcome to tour it if you'd like to. Okay. Do you uh is it on MLS? Do you, did you use like the? No, no it's not on MLS. Okay. Not. Okay. Well, well, ma'am. Um, I was just gonna actually try to help you sell this thing for free, like not charge you anything, and just maybe try to help you do that. I actually can tell you a couple things. Like, you actually need to be on MLS. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's a company, yeah. but there's a company that will let you put it on MLS. Okay. And like, if you and do, why would you? to help me sell this because why wouldn't I want to help you sell it well because you're in this for money I know but but if I help you sell it maybe you'll buy something from me or maybe you'll tell somebody about me you know I really I'm, I'm more okay. in it I'm more into it for the relationship long term I just want to help people <laughs> I sell a hundred properties a year um, so okay. it's not a this is Remax Orange Beach or Gulf Shores Orange Beach Orange Beach yes okay. ma'am 
Um, I'm, I'm just, and I'll tell you too, the pictures that you have on for sub .com, they're sideways. I know. And I've not been able to finish this. We just gotten that listed. Uh -huh. And after that all happened, had some family problems and health issues. I've actually not gone back to it. I've shown it four times uh -huh. and two of those were realtors that had somebody that wanted them to look at it. Supposedly. They offered, so they offered me something like I would pay 3% and the buyer would pay three. Yeah. Uh, I'll talk to you. Listen, I'm on the road right now. You've got my number. Can you just text me your information again? Yes, ma'am. And I, we and we had said if we listed it, it would be with Remax. We bought it from Remax, and we said if we would list it again, we will. What was your name again, ma'am? Ann Smith. Okay. Cool. Well, I'll text you my information, and then maybe I can call you tomorrow. That will be perfect. Okay. You can call me tonight, even later. I'll just be on the road for like an hour and a half. Okay, cool. Cool. I'll do that and I'll be back with you. All right. Sam, what is your first name again? It's Ricky Carruth. Ricky Carruth. I've seen your name everywhere down there. Yeah. Ricky. Yeah. I'm yeah all, that sounds good. Okay. I'll talk to you soon. All right. Thank you. Thank Ricky. you. Bye bye. bye, -bye. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Helping people for free isn't going to get you anywhere. This is the way to do it right you stand out people want to work with you i don't know i don't know what else to tell you guys this is the magic this is magical i think you guys heard what she said that she's basically she basically told me she's gonna list it with me i don't know pretty wild stuff there guys zillow zillow paying me now giving me free leads quit paying zillow guys it's free i want to check out some of the comments real quick kimberly you know why um, you know why the people I'm calling don't say I'm the hundredth agent to call them because I circle prospect. That's another reason why I circle prospect over expires and for sale by owners. Uh, hey, this is Ricky Caruth with Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing? Hey, I can barely hear you. Are you on a speakerphone or Bluetooth or something? How about now? Is that there you go. I can hear you. Yeah, yeah. I put you on speakerphone. Okay, cool. Yeah, I was just calling about that house there, uh, Crab Apple Lane. Yeah, yeah, I hate Crab Apple. Yeah. What's the story behind it? And uh, that one, uh, I tell you what, that's uh, a house that I, I have rented for a couple of years. It's empty right now. I don't know if you've seen it. I hadn't and, seen it. Uh, what's that? I haven't seen it. Yeah, it's, I don't know if you know where Crab Apple Lane is. It's a real quiet street. It's just a one block long. It's on a cul-de-sac. Uh, house built in 93 and then it's a real nice house uh, it's got three three beds down it's got a, a, a upstairs room could be a fourth bedroom or an accessory room whatever you want to do with it yeah it's, it's a brand new garage door uh big lot 110 by 130. wow right it's right there it's, by right there behind the hospital kind of yeah you, yeah you can walk to the hospital unless it's just bad weather that's crazy but anyway, I'm just yeah. I decided to to sell it. Yeah. And uh, I'm just selling it by myself. I'm paying a paying the realtor. Up, uh, if the realtor brings me a buyer, I'm, I'm paying a realtor like two and a half percent if they'll they'll bring me a buyer. Yeah, that's what I do. And uh, you know, if but I may just go ahead and put it on MLS myself later this week. I'm just kind of being real pissed. Well, that's what I was gonna. That's what I was gonna tell you to do. Um, I was actually gonna maybe ha try to help you sell it for nothing. Just try to help you put it on MLS yourself. And I tell you what, too, man. Uh, to be honest with you, yeah, you, uh -huh. you need you need to get you. It's worth the money. And I, I sell a hundred properties a year. And I know I know what I'm talking about. It's worth the hundred and fifty bucks or whatever. I actually have a guy I can hook you up with to take professional pictures. Uh, it really would it really would do a lot uh, a lot for you based on what yeah, I'm I, seeing here. Yeah, I know. Oh, I've got somebody. I, I, that if I do that, I'm fixing to do that house. Yeah. Or, or, you know, pay a couple hundred dollars. Yeah. You know, to get some really nice. Maybe even a uh, video, possibly. I don't know. But, uh, well, I can't say your I can't say your price your price is off too bad. 
Yeah, see, I think I'm right. That, see, that's another thing. See, I mean, the house next door sold for one nine. Yeah. The one just passed me on the ten. Right. And I'm pretty sure I'm just I'm really close on the price. A lot of people tell me to go up two hundred and all that, but it's just it's not there's anything wrong with the house, but there's just little things that somebody might want to do. That they may not. It's the uh, the master has a shower. It doesn't have a, a master bath in it. Yeah. It's got two walk-ins, but it has only a shower. Uh -huh. And then, you know, that's one thing some people might want a bathtub. And right. That's, that's one of the, the biggest things probably. And, but uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's right at, it's about 1890, 1900 square foot, somewhere in there. Yeah. It's a nice size. It's just, it's, it's a, you're not going to beat the neighborhood. I see where it's at. I grew up here, and I didn't really know about that road. No, but that's because it's only about it's only about five houses on each side, and that's it. Yeah. Drive down there, right? It's right off West Rosetta. Just turn around. Right yeah. Oh, I know exactly where it's at. It's just such a little. It's kind of tucked away there. It's tucked away, and there's not ten cars, twenty cars a day. You know, right. Road. Well, let me ask road. you this. Let me ask you this: Are you are you uh you said you were renting it? Are you just or what? You, no, I mean, that's empty now. I mean, I, I rented it for, two, for a couple of years. No, but I mean, do you have rental property? Do you buy and sell rental property? I did, but I'm 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 getting out all of it. I'm selling all my stuff. <laughs> I'm, I'm simplifying my life. I hear you, man. I hear I'm you. Work, hey, I'm at workouts now, man. I'm gonna do my. I'm, I'm 66. I'm, I'm just tired of fooling with them. And I'm yeah. Stuff. If I go broke, I go broke. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, just, let me I'm ask. Tired. I'm going to simplify my life and do the things I like to do. And, uh, yeah. Don't worry, don't fill with things. But, uh, let me see, man. Let me look at your remarks. Let's see. Like, like new home, three blocks, cul de sac. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, the air conditioner's like 2010. Never had a never had any trouble. I, uh, I remodeled it two years ago, put new uh, uh, a laminate. It's not like a hardwood. It's, it's not really hardwood. It's kind of a fake hardwood laminate. I guess it is part hardwood. I got. I need to look that up exactly. But that end, the big living room, it's got a fireplace. Is it the good stuff? The good floor, or is it? It's, I think it's the. I think it is. I okay. Mean, it was about. It cost. I think it was three. About three thousand. Yeah. Putting it in, getting it installed in a box. So, right. Do you uh, know? Do you know how? Do you know how to put it on MLS? Yeah. I, yeah. I did it before. See, I had it on there uh, years ago, but it, and then I all I was thinking about selling it when I bought it. Then I decided to commit it. Right. So I've had it on there. I've had it on there before. So. Right. So yeah, I, I'd probably go through flat fee. You used to, you could go through. Uh, for sale, the owner used to do it. They right. Do it right. Yeah. Now. They're gonna set up to do it. But right. Flat fee will do it. You know, I could well, go back with that route. I'm gonna try. I might try that for a while. See how it goes. Yeah. Well, but anyway, you, yeah. Oh, hey, you probably know me if you see me. I know everybody in Gus Show. Man, I've been here thirty years. What's every, your name? Every friend, I, hey, every friend I got is a realtor. What's your name? Dan Farmer. You probably know me. Dan. I probably know you when I see you. Dan Farmer. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. It rings a bell. Yeah, you around Gus Shore. <laughs> I'm thinking if you see me. Yeah. There's no, there's no doubt. <laughs> Well, hey, I'll tell you what, man. What's your email address? Uh, it's just my name. Uh, mm-hmm. Okay. May have them so there, There's a, an agent that uh, there's she's. Supposed to let me know yesterday. Somebody narrowed my house down. It's between my house and one other house. Okay. And they're they're sweating bullets trying to make the decision which one to get. Right. She's supposed to let me know yesterday, and I uh, she texted me uh, about noon and said they're still sweating bullets trying to decide. I said, well, I asked her. I said, well, is she sway toward one other? She said, no. She's 
uh, trying to make the decision. So I may have it. So it's a 50-50 chance. Oh, yeah. You will sell it. There ain't no doubt. It, it's a good house and a good spot at a good price. Yes, it's just that you know how it is. Listen, I've shown this house probably about, well, probably about to probably 12 agents and probably about 12 individuals, probably 50 50. Yeah. But you know how it is. It's just if they walk in there, it's just got to be somebody they like it. That's it. You know, it's just, just going to take that one person or couple to go in there and develop this one. Yeah. They love that neighborhood. And, there may be one little thing about the house with the floor plan they don't like, but yet the next one just overcomes that over another house. You know, you know all right, it's just right. different. Yeah, you don't, man. You don't. Well, well, well look, man, I'll, I'll stay in touch with you via email. I'm Ricky Carruth. So if there's yeah, something. I'll your sign everywhere. I'm a, I probably talked to you before about something. You know, yeah, I'm sure we have. I mean, like I said, your name rings a bell. But if I can. Where are you with? Which company are you with? Remax, Remax Orange Beach. Tell you what, hey, I'm good friends with uh, with Dana. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. So, Old Dana. Uh, what's that? Old Dana. Old Dana. Old yeah. Dana. Yeah, I'm good friends with Dana. They're good people. A lot of the other, the other remakes. Yeah, for sure. And Gus Shores and friends with Karen, Karen Russo and I. Yeah. And all the bunch over here, but well, anyway. well, cool, man. Yeah. Good chatting with you, and I'll keep this in mind. Hey, keep that in mind. Yeah, keep it in mind. Okay. So, so yeah, like you say, I know it's going to sell sooner or later. Anyway. All right. Thanks, Dan. I appreciate it. See you, bud. Okay. All right, bye. All right. All right, here we go. Next call, next call, next call. Hello. Hey, it's Ricky Carruth, Remax of Orange Beach. How you doing? Good, pretty good. How are you today? Good. You got the house there in Lakeview for sale? Yes, I do. What uh what's the story behind it? Well, it's a nice house. <laughs> uh is it uh where all are you advertising it at? Let's see. Actually I am selling it for myself and I put it on Zillow. Yeah. And it's on Trulia. They're all free. Right, right. And I I don't know, I showed it had it on the market with three weeks. It was a three week Sunday. Okay. Showed it about fifteen times, and I went through about forty flyers. What? What? I mean, forty buyers. Forty flyers. Oh, forty flyers. I got flyers. Out yeah, flyers. Market. So you showed it fifteen times. You didn't get any offers. I've got two people that are interested, but you know the old story. You know, got to sell mine before I can buy it. So oh yeah, yeah. What? That game. We got two people from out of state that uh, they're going to be down next week. Okay, those are the two people that have to sell their house first. No, one of them's got his house sold. Okay, and they but, want uh, and they want to I come. Don't count them, I don't count them sold till they get the money. Oh man, trust me, I've been doing this for seventeen years. So the people that are coming down that already sold their house, they're they are they have they narrowed it down to your house. That one of the three, they said. Okay. Okay. And they haven't looked at any th any of the three. Oh, okay. But okay. The guy's a golfer. And he doesn't want to live in craft farms. He likes Twin Lakes because they come down in the winter and they play here. They like it real well. So and that's what they're trying to find. Right. Right. Okay. Well, I was gonna just call and see what I could do to help you. Where? Let me see. Let me find it online. Sounds like you got it going on if you have that many showings. Getting a lot of activity on it. There's no doubt it gets several calls. Got some people going to look at it tomorrow at 1.30. Yeah. But actually, I, I got it listed at 278.5. Uh, okay. And um, But uh, basically, I want uh, 266 is what I want for bottom line if I use the realtor. Okay. So I can, you know, I can pop, I can put the three percent in, and I've actually had two realtors show it. Uh huh. Let's see, twenty about twenty four hundred square foot. Right. All right. Let me look at these pictures right quick. I think I. Pictures. I think I, I, I took them myself. I think I know this how. I think they, was it for sale. With it was an, for sale about a year ago. Okay, I think I showed I actually, it. I had a, I actually had a house down in uh, Aaron Drive in Graham Creek, 
some people from Birmingham came down. They had boats that needed water access. And somebody told my mace on my house. They came, looked at it, bought it the same day. So um, I bought this, but uh, my girlfriend that I live with, she was able to retire. Actually, she was the property manager at Craft Farms. Yeah. And she just retired this month. So we and I sold it, and I sold my house in April. We had to live somewhere until, uh, you know, I had this. So I've been working on this one. I've done quite a bit of upgrades, some minor remodeling, and uh, actually dressed it up. It it was owned by a couple out of Maine. This was their third house. And they came down in the winter, and the old boy didn't like spend any money. It's pretty obvious. So, yeah. What do you? Uh, what do you? You live there? Yeah, I, I live there. Yeah, okay. we're moving down to the villages. Oh, okay. That's that's in that's in Glen Lakes, right? Between Orlando and Ocala. Oh, okay. So we uh, that's why we're set, we were going to go. You know, we were going to wait. She was going to retire, and then we were going to go down. But uh, since this guy made an offer for more than I actually wanted, I bumped it up, and he took it. So he bought it. So I had to find a place, this one for sale. So I've been really working on it for the last nine months. Yeah. I'm trying to pull up uh, some sales to kind of see if you're. It's in the market. They've got uh, one down the street here for 325 on the same side on Lakewood. They got another one. Sounds like he's going to put it on the market. He wants 325. They had one sell east of me towards the clubhouse it was probably the plainest house and it needed some work and the people from oklahoma bought it they paid 100 and either 152 or 154 or 252 or 254 and they have only been there two months and they've already spent forty thousand on that house right and, it, and it's way they're they must be wanting to live the rest of their life because that house is not that nice well, you know how buyers are. They're going to be looking at what they don't care what people did after. You know, they're like, ah, oh, yeah. sold for this price. But you're at a hundred sixteen a foot, and um, and what year was That's it a, built? Uh, Ninety five. Okay. Well, here's one for not and built in ninety seven. So for one hundred twenty five a foot, but it was a lot smaller, seventeen or eighteen hundred. And then, well, okay, here we go. Here's one that was built in 93 that sold for 130 a foot. Uh, that was 24, 25 square foot. Let's see, yours is a three bedroom. Yeah, that one's a four bedroom, but it's probably a lot smaller bedrooms because it was lesser square yeah. footage. But it sold in 16 days for that. Let me see. That was in October. That was on Lakeview Drive. Yeah, my neighbor down here, he's, I think he's uh, one, two, three, five houses west of me. He got 319 for his. That's what this is. That's that's this one. Okay, yeah. Yeah. That's... yeah he, and then the one across the street from me, two houses down. Uh -huh. It's on the water, though, but it, it brought 360. 360. I don't see. That would have they they bought that about oh May or June. Uh, we want for three. It's on the water. It's a nice one. It's a big right. One. Well, here's one for three forty and one for three thirty. But yeah, I, I see what you're saying. Yeah, I'm just trying to get a gauge for are you really in the market? I think you. I think you're pretty close. Yeah, I think I am. Well, actually, to be very frank about it, I put more in this than I thought. Yeah, that's... Uh, I paid you know two fifty four. I thought you know I can clean it up and fix it up. Well, I've already spent about eleven thousand on it. Mm -hmm. So I've got about I've really got about when that's my labor. Uh, I've got about two sixty four, sixty five in it. Yeah, I just want to break even and uh, move on. Yeah, well, well, I was going to just call and offer some advice for free just to kind of see what I could do to help you as far as your, cause the online presentation is everything. Um, well, do you have a, a, an agent that you like, if you don't sell it, what are you going to do? If I don't get a, uh, a bite on it the next couple of weeks, 
I probably use Angela Martin. Mm, okay. You know her? Yeah. Yeah, because my girlfriend is a that I live with. Yeah. She is a she's a real estate broker. Yeah. The your girlfriend? Yeah, she's a real estate broker, but she was in property management. She didn't sell houses. Oh, okay. And she has her license down there with Angela. So, oh, okay. Yeah. You know, Perfect. I, I can get a little piece of the action back if Angela gets If something us, happens. You know. Yeah. Yeah. Plus, Angela's a really good agent. Oh, yeah. She's a good one. Yeah. I just did a deal with her in Craft Farms. So, I mean, that's pretty much the direction I would go with that one. But uh, I'm still doing a little cleaning up and I'm trying to get, you know, a few things done yet. To, but it, you know, they all they all like it. No offers. I haven't got an offer yet. Right. But I've had some tire pickers too, and you can tell them. Well, um, like I say, I was just going to call and try to help you. So um, it looks like you're in good hands. Though. It looks like you're doing everything right, and it looks like you've got it taken care of. If you if you don't get it sold, so yeah, I think you're in good hands, man. Okay, well, if you find somebody wanting the house up here, bring them by. I know all about it. I'll keep it in mind. Okay, thanks. For thanks, calling. man. Bye. Bye. I, I did want to say again that I redid the entire 90 day action plan. Um, it's on the website live, zero to diamond.com, all free, free coaching. We do live training sessions like this every two weeks. Um, the next live training session is going to be on the weekly email. Um, I'm going to go deeper with the weekly email. A lot of you guys are reaching out about the weekly email and I want to go a little deeper with the weekly email content for you and do an entire training session just on that email. Um, so I can just go deeper and deeper. There's a lot of new uh, agents in the zero to diamond program. I'm picking up over 50 new agents every day is signing up. Um, so there's a lot of new, new people, a lot of you're new and welcome all the new members. This is a family. Zero to Diamond is an, a family, right? We're, we're a community, super positive. If something weird happens in the Facebook group, I take care of it immediately. As soon as I see it, it's gone. I'm getting people out of the group. I'm making comments to let everybody know that that's not how this is going to go. We're not going to be like every other Facebook group out there with the drama and all this and that. It, this is all positive. We're going to help each other. We're going to empower each other to be better agents and human beings so that we can provide better for our families and charities and so on and so forth. OK, so I just wanted to get that out in between these calls. There's so many comments. There's no way I can read all these. It would take me forever. In less than an hour, I picked up a serious possibility for a listing, guys. If you did this, if you did this for three hours and get three possible listings a day, I mean, come on. Plus the snowball effect of the repercussions of all those future deals, repeat business referrals and referrals of referrals. Um, I think everybody should follow, just quit listening to everything take 90 days and follow this to a T and go out there and crush it and see if after 90 days that you don't want to continue doing the same strategies that I've built my business on. It takes all the fat off. It's just the meat. It's just the meat of the business. Okay. We don't have to worry about all this other stuff. We just talk to people, help people do a weekly email. We have systems in place that are very simple. We don't have to worry about all this stuff. We just have to get to work and make it happen. So got a lot of stuff coming in the future. I hope to see all of you everywhere that I go. And just let me know what in the world I can do for you. And like I said, I love you guys. Talk to you soon.